yo, 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 you guys. What is up? You know who it is. It's the one and only. It's your boy, Night. And your girl, Dizzy. And you're now locked in tune to Night and Dame Forever Studios, baby. Lego. <laughs> True. Okay, guys. Today we're going to be doing the Try Not to Laugh Challenge. We're getting ready to put on a funny video compilation. This one's called Watermelon Watermelon Andrea's Worst Sex, sex Experience. experience. Uh, that already sounds funny. That does, okay. <laughs> so we're going to put some water in our mouth, and then we're going to do our best to try not to laugh, and whoever laughs three times loses. But if the video ends up cutting off before someone laughs three times, whoever laughed the most just automatic, automatically loses. So... Try not to laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, before we get into it, let me get some of these music. Okay. Okay, y'all. Awa. Mm -hmm. Samira want to play too. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Christmas time and all that, but let's just take a moment to fuck that. So I came across this trailer for Fifty Shades of Black starring Marlon Wayans, fine ass. And like it sounds, it's a parody film of Fifty Shades of Grey. It's coming to theaters everywhere. The link to the trailer's in the description below if you ain't seen it. But this trailer, this movie itself, inspired me to get my black ass up here and tell y'all what happened to me last night. So I went on a date. I ain't been on a date since Mariah mislocated her whistle tone. And the bitch was like low-key excited for it. Alright, let me backtrack and start from the beginning. So I'm high as fucking hope. Ass was looking for a Christmas tree in the motherfucking window aisle. And this dusty ass nigga come up to me and asked me for my number. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh back up. Do I look like a crusty, dusty bitch that would give my number to you? But obviously, like, I still gave him my number because ladies can attest to this. Dusty niggas, uh, have the best dick. I don't know what it is. I didn't make the rule. I don't know what the good Lord was thinking. But for whatever reason, God gave broke niggas good dick. So in my head, I'm thinking it's been 48 hours since I've had this pussy bust a wide open and like, that's, that's too long. And none of my hoes in the city, because all of them done went home for Christmas to be with their families and shit. Lame. So let me get this dusty ass nigga a chance. So my high ass finally finds a Christmas tree, take it home, builds it the wrong direction. Small at the bottom, big at the top, forgot all the ornaments. Got this busted ass upside down tree in my living room. And while I was building a tree, we was texting or whatever, and he was like, I want to take you on a date. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, first dates are the best foreplay. Let's get it. So we said, pick you up at eight. This nigga arrives. At 9.47, not in his own car, not on his own bike, in an Uber. Not in an Uber SUV, Uber Black, Uber Lux, Uber Helicopter, not even an Uber X. This nigga arrives in an Uber Pool. If you don't know what Uber is, Google it. If you do know what Uber is, do you know what the fuck Uber Pool is? Uber Pool is short for Uber Carpool. Uber Pool is carpool for Uber. You get in an Uber with one of ass motherfuckers and all of y'all split the cost of the ride. So I done slit my fine ass in this red dress, got these banging ass Louis Vuittons on my motherfucking feet. You crawl into this Uber Pool next to this dusty ass nigga and a family of five Mexicans in the back seat. But here's the worst part about riding in this 97 Corolla. The Mexican family's pet chihuahua travel with them and rode alone in the front seat. So this nigga looks me up and down and says, damn, shawty, you bad as fuck. And I'm like, mm -hmm, but like, where's your car? This nigga said, I hit three children in 2013 and got my license suspended. I said to myself, you know what? Wow, Drea, you really know how to pick up. So we get dropped off at Applebee's and I love Applebee's. So I'm like, you know what? This makes up for the three children and the chihuahua. I walk up to the door and wait there for my gentleman to open it up. I look to my left and see this motherfucker standing in front of the McDonald's next door. From across the lot, he yelled, what you doing? And I said back, what you doing? So I thought to myself, okay, this nigga may be dusty. This nigga may have escorted me here in an Uber pool. This nigga may have lost his license killing three children. But certainly, he not taking me to McDonald's on the first day. He said, you coming? And I thought to myself, okay, look. Bomb day tonight. And that was enough to motivate my black ass to walk over to McDonald's. So I'm standing in front of the McDonald's door waiting for my knight and dusty armor to be a gentleman and open it up. He looks at me and he says, you gonna open it? My brain said, oh, who the fuck does this nigga think he is? But my pussy said, dick. 
and I proceeded to open the damn door. We walk up to the cashier. I order a number one. He orders a number one, two, three. Woo woo! <laughs> <laughs> you said, bro, we said, did it. <laughs> okay, let me see. So, here we go. <laughs> okay, I lost that one, you guys. <laughs> that was round one. You obviously lost. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. <laughs> what made you laugh? What part made you laugh? The <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> she trying to keep. Damn, man. <laughs> that shit was funny. Okay. I lost round one, you guys. That mean I won. Dame won, you guys. Dame got that one. Okay, you guys. Let go again. Take more water. And don't take more water. It. I take more. I took a lot of water that time. And don't be drinking it. No, the first one that was a, that was an accidental swallow. That really was. I was caught in swallowing it. I was like, damn, I'm just gonna let him. But I still have water in my mouth though. So okay, y'all ready? Mm hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And said, the cashier says that'll be $32.73. I said, mm, we could have went the fuck to Applebee's. I'm waiting patiently for this nigga to pay while he stares at me. He said, where's your wallet? Mm -hmm. I said, nigga, where's yours? He said, baby, I don't get paid till Friday. I reach for my credit card like, who? <laughs> This mm -hmm. nigga better put me in a wheelchair. So we get our food. I'm eating my dry ass Big Mac. And this nigga looks at me and asks, You trying to fuck? I said, Here? He said, Yeah, in the bathroom. I got condoms in my coat pocket. Now, I know most people would have been like, Ugh, that's nasty. I ain't doing that. But like, you don't know me. So we in the bathroom. He start fingering me. And I couldn't tell if this nigga had nails or machetes up my pussy. He was up in there for five seconds. I said, Nope, no, 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 no. So he tell me to give him head. I said, after you eat this pussy. Oh, God. He turned me around and was about to eat my booty. I said, nigga, wrong direction. He turned me back around and nibbled on my pussy for 20 minutes. And I started falling asleep halfway through. So I put up Netflix on my phone and got caught up on scandal because wasn't nothing else entertaining me in the room. Mm -hmm. You could tell he thought that he was about to win a gold oh, medal for what? Oh, shit. Yeah, you guys. Oh, Dang, just spit all over me. Shit. Nibble on my pussy. I fell asleep. <laughs> she falls asleep on the pussy. Damn. It's all over your face. How the freak? Damn. Making me hot. Damn. Blood. Okay. Fuck. I mean, for the day. Okay. Damn. Team night, you guys. We in here like swimwear. Round three. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever the fuck it was he was trying to do to my vagina. But he was licking up every which wrong direction. Niggas really don't be knowing where the clitoris is. So after 20 minutes, I was just like, stop. Stop. And he got up like, your turn. I said, mm, no. He pulled down his drawers, and I couldn't tell if there was a dick between his legs or a Vienna sausage. I looked at him. I looked at it. I said, uh-uh. <laughs> Restraining order on that nigga and moved so he don't know where the fuck I live. My bad if my story fucked up y'all's Christmas, but like I said, I had to get that off my chest because. Bitch, regardless, I know that y'all still like story time, so make sure y'all show that by liking the motherfucking video. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And it's your main bitch, Water Malone Dre, signing out. To what do you owe your success? Okay. Oh. It was a tie, you guys. It was definitely a tie. That was good. That was funny. And I had that one too. Damn. damn, I didn't have the damn. You Actually, I had to laugh. When she said that, I couldn't hold that shit in. That was dick, y'all. I couldn't hold that in. <laughs> Shoveling that shit out, y'all. Shit. Uh, so, this is a, so, you won the first challenge. I won the second one. We tied right now. So we'll 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 see because we got some other challenges too. So right now we we about even. neck and neck <laughs> about neck and neck, but I'm a little bit higher. So well, I think she might be a little higher. She's giving more neck than I am. So <laughs> <laughs> if you guys like this, if you guys like this challenge, like, share, and subscribe. subscribe. Until next time, you guys. 
Doomsday.